Your Excellency, the former President of Botswana, Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, members of the EPI Leadership Council and Foundation, distinguished participants. I wish to thank the EPI for covering this important event that brings leaders together, experts and advocates who share a common concern, elephant conservation. I applaud your success in bringing the human elephant conflict conversation to the fore. I would like to share Kenya's experience in elephant conservation, as well as our intervention efforts to address the current global concern of human elephant conflict. I will also share some thoughts of how we, as a conservation community, can step up our efforts through committed advocacy and collaboration with local communities. We know that Kenya has not been alone in its efforts of elephant conservation. Protecting our astounding species has been decades of global concern. It has brought together conservation advocates, leaders and experts from the African continent. All these efforts have resulted in a steady growth of African elephant populations. In Kenya, our elephant population has more than doubled in the last 30 years. From 16,000 in 1989 to 34,354 in 2020. This is an extraordinary African conservation success story and testimony to prove that commitment from dedicated stakeholders can save our magnificent animals. Kenya's success story in its elephant conservation efforts stem from our national res resolve to cherish our wildlife, which is a major tourism income earner for our country. Our success has been a result of combined efforts of the government, both national and county. It has been through communities who live alongside the elephants they have been consistent in their commitment to turn their challenges into solutions. The steady decline of poaching has been as, re as a result of strong political will, leadership, advocacy, and imposition of trophy bans. It has also been a result of brokering solution with diverse stakeholders who have shared similar conviction. We have stood together for a cause we believe. However, our success brings with it challenges because of the growth of both human and elephant populations. This is an issue that is very real to us. While elephants are treasured, they can be a very terrifying threat to individuals, families and communities. People are being killed, livelihoods are being destroyed, children are skipping school due to fear, and elephants are being killed in retaliation. This human-elephant conflict is threatening the hard-won gains we have made in advocating human-wildlife coexistence. The conversation today on human-elephant conflict draws our attention to what we can do to turn this trajectory into an opportunity I thank the EPI Foundation for enabling us to share our experiences, learn from each other and exchange ideas and best practices, latest technologies and techniques. This dialogue, led by Africans, is timely because it also provides us with an opportunity to present ambitious ideas, speak with one united voice and resolve and hold each other accountable. Kenya has unique examples of conservation efforts that have worked, especially with lobby groups and local communities who are the first line of defense for these treasured animals. Our interventions have required strengthening and building highly capable and functional institutions, putting in, in place robust policies and commensurate resource allocation. The Kenya Wildlife Service has conducted a successful deployment of Earth Ranger technology. 
These technologies have provided real-time online monitoring that have assisted in the deployment of timely interventions of human-elephant conflict. Natural deterrence, such as beehive fencing in the Savo National Park, have also recorded award-winning success in helping to protect farmers from elephant invasion. Women are said to play an important role in conservation. I have witnessed how incorporating women's empowerment into conservation has worked. Through the amazing work of the Imbirikani Women Beading Project and the Beadworks Kenya Initiative. These are some examples of livelihood projects focusing on conservation that are working well. Through the Hands Off Our Elephants Initiative, I have witnessed the power and impact of advocacy. But all these noble efforts need support and strong collaboration if we want to solve our current challenge. More resources and practical solutions need to be adopted in our conservation efforts so that we can build a better future where humans and wildlife coexist peacefully. I commit to add my voice to advocate for more action in addressing the human-elephant conflict. I thank you.